Today's Embedded Systems Minute interrupts. Interrupts allow an I.O. device to efficiently communicate with the software running on the CPU. Typical I.O. device will include some sort of mechanism, often electromechanical. For purposes of understanding interrupts, it doesn't matter too much exactly what that is. A set of registers serve as the interface between the I.O. device and the rest of the system. Some of those bits may represent data and others status. An interrupt request signal allows the I.O. device to request an interrupt. When the CPU is ready, it can use an acknowledge signal to tell the device that the interrupt is being handled. The bus may also have other signals such as data and address. Now in the CPU, there's a register, often called the instruction register or IR, that holds the actual instruction being executed. And the program counter or PC holds the address of the current instruction. So let's understand how an interrupt request and acknowledgement affects the flow of instructions executing on the processor. We'll call the foreground program the set of instructions that, that were typically running on the processor. When an interrupt comes in, we're going to change that flow. The term IRQ stands for interrupt request. That's a common name for the interrupt signal. Once the CPU decides to accept that interrupt, it will move to a different flow of instructions known as the interrupt handler. The handler's job is to perform the operations on the data and status registers required to operate the I.O. device. When the handler is done, control moves back to the foreground stream of instructions. The program counter will return to where it was before the interrupt. That's our Embedded Systems Minute on interrupts. Thanks for watching.